Bella. Welcome to my channel, Botswana Thinking Law, where I bring you and the law closer. Today, we are going to be talking about courts. The reason why this is an important topic is because when deciding to bring a matter, it is best to look at the various courts to determine which court would be best suited for your particular circumstances. There are various types of courts in Botswana. We have the customary court, magistrate's court, court martial, industrial court, high court, and court of appeal. Customary courts. Customary courts are created in terms of the Customary Courts Act. And there are three types of customary courts. You have your lower customary court, your higher customary court, and customary court of appeal. Customary courts have the right to hear any civil matter that deals with customary law as long as the people that are bringing that civil matter are living in the area where the customary court operates. For example, if the customary court operates from Muchudi and the people that are bringing the matter and the person that they are bringing the matter against live in Ramuta, then the customary court at Muchudi will not have the power to hear that matter. The matter would have to be brought at the customary court in Ramuta. When a person is unhappy about the decision of a lower customary court, then they can appeal that decision to the higher customary court. And if someone is further unhappy with the decision of the higher customary court, then they can appeal to the customary court of appeal. A person can bring a matter directly to the lower or higher customary court, but the only matters that go to the customary court of appeal are those brought on appeal. A person can bring a matter to a lower customary court, which is usually headed by the Kosama. And if there is no higher customary court, then that person can appeal directly to the customary court of appeal. In criminal matters, the customary court has the power to deal with any criminal matter, except for those criminal matters that are set out to be above the power of the customary court in the Customary Courts Act. And these matters are matters involving bribery, involving murder, involving rape, and those offenses against the state. An example is treason. If a person is unhappy about the decision of a Customary Court of Appeal, then they have the power to appeal that matter to the High Court. And we will be dealing with the High Court later on in this video. The next court to deal with is the Magistrates Court. The Magistrates Court is created in terms of the Magistrates Court Act. And they are different types of magistrates. And these are called grades of magistrate. In terms of the Magistrates Court Act, you have your regional magistrate, your chief magistrate, your principal magistrate, your magistrate uh, grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, and your senior magistrate, not specifically in that order. And the reason why it is important to know the differences in these magistrates is because of the importance they play on the type of matter that you are bringing to the magistrate's court if you choose to do so. And that is because the powers of the different magistrates change depend on the type of magistrate. An example, a regional magistrate can only deal with matters involving amounts of money of less than 40,000 bula. So if you want to sue someone because they owe you money or they owe you a rent, and the amount that you want to sue for is 41,000 bula. Then, because the original magistrate is the highest magistrate, you would have to go to the high court because they would, the magistrate would have no power 
to deal with that specific matter. The lowest grade magistrate is magistrate grade three, and they have the power to deal with matters up to an amount of 10,000 hula. Magistrates court also have the power to deal with various other civil matter that does not involve a certain amount of money. And these matters are matters involving children like issues of maintenance and where people want to have protection orders in domestic violence matters. Magistrates, however, do not have the power to end a marriage. People that want to get divorced have to approach the High Court if they're married under either customary law or civil law or they can approach the customary court if they're married only under customary law. Magistrates courts also have the power to hear criminal matters. However, magistrates courts are also limited in the type of criminal matters that they can hear. Examples, the magistrates court cannot hear matters involving offenses against the state, such as treason, Magistrates court can also cannot also hear matters involving murder. However, magistrates court can hear bail applications in those treason or murder matters. Now we move on to a specialized court called a court martial. A court martial is created under the Botswana Defense Force Act, that is the BDF Act. And the reason why it is a specialized court is because it only deals with offenses related to the BDF and it only applies in instances of people who work for the BDF. Therefore, ordinary citizens cannot bring their matters before a court martial. Any decision by the court martial can be appealed to the High Court. Any process undertaken by the court martial can also be reviewed by the High Court. And as stated earlier on in the video, we will deal with the High Court in due course. Now we turn to our second type of specialized court, being the Industrial Court. The Industrial Court is created under the Trade Disputes Act. And the Industrial Court is called a specialized court because it is created specifically to deal with issues relating to employment. And this is a simplified manner of explaining this concept. When I say matters involving employment, I mean matters where someone has been dismissed from work, matters where an employer refuses to recognize a trade union, and matters where an employer is acting against their agreements with trade unions, which are called collective agreements. The industrial court, once it makes its decision, a person who is unhappy with the decision of the industrial court can appeal to the Court of Appeal. Usually industrial courts hear these employment related matters after they come from the Commissioner of Labour. And the reason why it is important for matters to be brought before the Commissioner of Labour is so that people can try and resolve their matter without first going through the process of court. And the Commissioner of Labour process is very relaxed. There are no strict rules of law to comply with. People are allowed to come and present their case. However, at the Commissioner of Labour's office, attorneys are not allowed to appear to represent a person. At the industrial court, however, it is different. Matters are referred to the industrial court by the Commissioner of Labour 
within 30 days, the person who is unhappy with this, uh, the Commission of Labour's decision can bring the matter before the industrial court. And they would have with them this failure to settle or settlement, whichever the case may be, and attach it to their papers at the industrial court. People can also come directly to the industrial court in a matter that is considered to be urgent. And sometimes these matters involve wanting to go on strike and the employer haven't threatened to fire any employee that goes on strike. Now we turn to deal with the High Court. The High Court is considered to be a court of unlimited original jurisdiction. And this is in terms of the Constitution of Botswana. This is because the High Court is created by the Constitution of Botswana. And when they say unlimited original jurisdiction, it means that the High Court can hear any matter in Botswana. No matter where the matter happens, whether it is a civil or criminal matter, who the parties are, as long as it is in Botswana. Meaning that the High Court can hear matters that can be taken to the customary court, the High Court can hear matters that can be taken to the Magistrates Court. The High Court can hear matters that can be taken to the Court Martial, to the Industrial Court, and so on. It is, however, encouraged that you use the different types of courts that are specialized or that can give you more assistance outside the High Court. And this is important because the High Court having unlimited original jurisdiction hears so many matters at any given point. So if you can bring your matter at the industrial court, bring it at the industrial court. Yes, you have the right to bring it at the High Court, but because the industrial court is specialized specifically for employment matters, take your matter to the industrial court rather than the high court. And the high court also has the right, as you've heard from previously in this video, to hear appeals from the other courts. And these are appeals from the customary court of appeal, appeals from the magistrate's court, even appeals from the court martial. Therefore, you can see that the right of the High Court or the power to hear many matters is very broad. After a High Court makes its decision, then that decision can be appealed by a person to the highest court in the land. And that court is the Court of Appeal. The Court of Appeal is also created by the Constitution of Botswana and the Court of Appeal only hears appeals from two courts. These appeals are from the High Court or from the Industrial Court. I'll give you an example. A matter that starts at the Customary Court goes all the way from the customary court of appeal to the high court and ends at the court of appeal if a person is unhappy about the decisions of the lower courts and that is the end of the presentation on the courts in Botswana therefore in looking at your matter you have to consider what is it that you are asking the court for if your matter is a matter involving children, for example, the High Court is known 
as the upper guardian of all minors. But that does not mean that every matter involving children should go to the High Court. Maintenance can be dealt with at the Magistrates Court. Yes, it can be dealt with at the High Court, but because the Magistrates Court is said to be by the Children's Act, the Children's Court maintenance matters can be brought there. Additionally, Magistrates Court, as indicated earlier, can hear matters from as little as one bula to up to 40,000 bula. So if you can bring your matter at a Magistrates Court, then bring your matter before the Magistrates Court instead of the High Court due to various factors. And one of those factors is that because there are so many matters before the High Court, your matter might not be heard as fast as it could be heard at these lower or specialized courts. Therefore, you have to look at your matter, assess it and see which court best suits your circumstances. Thank you for joining me on this channel please like share and subscribe to my channel and let's spread this um, discussion on law next week we will be dealing with another legal interesting topic so come back and catch my next video bye